My name is Carissa Jefferson and I'm currently a senior at Edwards County High School. In the fall of 2022, I will be attending College of the Ozarks in Branson, Missouri. While I'm there, I will major in agronomy and minor in agribusiness. My name is Colby Luth. I go to Shiloh High School and I will be studying crop sciences at the University of Illinois. My name is Grace Vindendorf. I am currently a senior at Marissa High School. After high school, I plan on attending Wabash Valley College to pursue a degree in agriculture education. My name is Josephine Bruner. I'm a senior at Lupin High School, and in the fall, I will attend Olivet Nazarene University. Hi, my name is Skylar Stewart, and I'm a senior at Nokomis High School. After high school, I plan on attending Lincoln Land Community College to get my associate's degree in agribusiness management. And once I'm completed at Lincoln Land, I plan on transferring to Purdue University to obtain my bachelor's degree. I actually have two things that have inspired my love for agriculture. That would be my grandpas. They both are lifelong farmers and they have really inspired me and my family to work hard and be dedicated to our jobs. Um, they have taught me so many life lessons. I'm so thankful to have them in my life. My object is a stuffed animal that my best friend gave me when I turned 16. We actually ended up using this stuffed animal when we were doing uh, vet tech practices for FFA. It was the first year that I joined FFA and vet tech was the most special thing that I did. It really showed me that I want to become a veterinarian. Something that I treasure that has shaped my commitment to agriculture is this shop that I stand in. This is where our operation is based out of and from a very young age. I've spent a lot of hours in here doing everything from working on equipment to talking with dad about what's going on on the farm. An essential tool that has helped shape my passion for agriculture is this feed scoop. The scoop represents the crops that my family has grown to feed our cattle that we use to feed our family. I've used this tool for as long as I can remember, from helping my dad fill buckets as a little girl to using it to feed my 4-H steers today. When I was five years old, my family was on our way back from church when we saw smoke coming from our farm. We drove straight to our farm to see what was going on, and when we got there, we realized that our deepest fear had been confirmed. Our farm was on fire. When we got there, it was too late to do anything, so all of our barns ended up burning down, and our hogs inside of it died. This tractor is the only thing standing today. Seeing how my family kept their faith and pushed hard and had perseverance after that is what has made my commitment to agriculture. This flag was given to me by my grandpa, who recently passed this last weekend. He gave this to me because he wanted to share his love for this great country as he served in Vietnam and he wanted to share his love for farming with me. He was my inspiration, my mentor, and my role model. He taught me everything that he knew in the hopes that one day I would be able to take over the farm for him. Today, I am sharing with you my district FFA proficiency plaque which was given to me in honor of my exceptional agricultural communications record book project. The experiences that I have had through this project have truly shaped my passion for agriculture and inspired me to turn that passion into a career. These are the two awards that I earned during my 10th year being in 4 H for both Pet Science and Animal Science, as I was selected as both the State Fair Delicate and Best of Show for both of them. I am very proud of these awards as they reflect my huge passion for caring for animals and wildlife. This is one of my goat kids that was born this spring. Yay. Through 4-H and FFA, I was able to start my own dairy goat production enterprise. There I learned I was passionate about veterinary medicine and I would like to become a veterinarian to provide care to animals like these. The object that I have selected is my FFA jacket. This jacket has helped shape my commitment to agriculture by serving as a ticket to countless opportunities which have allowed me to explore the ag industry. This is my place of work, Snow Farms in Macon, Illinois, where I've worked for the past six years. In this building and in you know fields all over, I've learned a lot about agriculture, whether it's about agronomic knowledge or about uh, mechanical knowledge or equipment operation or anything in between. This has really been the place where I've expanded and developed my passion for agriculture and it's what's encouraged me to work in ag. Behind me here is the field that I've used for the past four years to grow sweet corn for my MFA project. Currently it's covered in snow, but in two months the ground will have been thawed and the seeds will have been planted.
cattle here that I've raised and worked have given me the passion and love I have for the cattle industry and agriculture as a whole. So right here I have my little pet chicken. Uh, her name is Yellow and she is one of my closest friends. Uh, she's been here for around 10 years now and she doesn't lay eggs but I love to have her around because she's one of our rescue chickens. This is my pet black Angus heifer Callie and she's about 19 months old. She's important to me because in mid-June of 2020, my grandpa and I had found her out in the pasture and none of the cows had claimed her. So I took her under my wing and cared for her ever since. Showing cattle is a true passion of mine. My dad and I recently switched over to showing Angus heifers so we can try and start a little herd. Goats were one of the first livestock that I was able to independently raise on the farm. And this led to raising other livestock such as cattle. Through learning to love raising livestock, my love for agriculture grew immensely. The thing that got me into agriculture was this heifer right here. Um, I started to prepare her for shows and just have a special bond with her. And that's when I decided that I wanted to pursue animal science in the future. My hope for the future is to work in the agriculture industry to better it for future generations to come. After college, I plan to give back to the ag community and to my own family farm. I want to be able to educate others in my work during college and even after on just how important agriculture is and what a great impact it has on the choices we make and the products that we are offered. I've been farming and working at the elevator with my dad and grandma since I was little. My goal is to raise a family here and continue to farm with my children. Being raised on the farm has taught me many different traits such as dedication, hard work, humility, and responsibility. Um, these traits will serve me well in my career uh, as I give back to the ag industry. In the future, I would like to take all these skills to help me with my agriculture communications degree. And with this degree, I hope to promote the true agriculture message to consumers around the nation. Pursuing a major at the University of Illinois and the College of Aces will provide me the necessary tools to carry on my family farm and allow my rural community to thrive.